Oh, we're playing at 1581. Great time to be playing at 1581. Let's go. If we lose, we lose. Maybe we'll learn a few things. I flipping hate this flipping gambit. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I have to take. You know what? Worst case, I'll just lose this pawn. Not fast. Take him. <laughs> cool. Alright, for, for development, my opponent here has given me a pawn. So what are the dangers there? Because I sometimes get into trouble with this opening. Knight up. What does that control? The knight squares here. If I'm being honest, I don't know how, but the queen usually just gets in there and just takes my rook. <laughs> so I want to do this move first. I always play that knight move. Alright, so that eliminates the queen from ever getting in, basically. So... Maybe I'll go for a pin. I'm gonna go for a pin. Let's be aggressive. See, if this happens, then I can't really do this because it takes. I mean, I can. Just can't castle kingside, basically. So my opponent is controlling these squares with the c6 knight and these squares with the f6 knight. Actually, he's not because this one's pinned. Wait, what if I do this? Since it is pinned. Maybe it defends like this. I take. Does that really do anything? Oh, and then I could castle. Could take back two ways. With the knight or the bishop. If he takes back the bishop, he'll probably take back the knight. Actually, no, I wouldn't take back the knight. That doesn't make sense. So take back the bishop. And then my castle. I mean, yeah, I don't think there's a benefit of this. He just unpins himself. So I'm just going to develop a piece. And then I could probably get my bishop into the game. Also, yeah, I might want to move my queen up at some point. Yeah, because you know what happens here? I, I'm not sure if it's this opening, but... I get into a scenario where this queen like gets up and he castles and his bishop is in front of this rook here waiting for a discovered attack and it's very uncomfortable. Wait, why didn't I think of this knight job first? Alright, let's calculate this way. If he goes back, ah, oh, then now if I take, takes with the rook, kind of messed up, didn't I? Ah, oh, would have had something here. Maybe, I don't know. What about this push? Bit much. I'm going to push this way. So I'm going to get my bishop out this trade happens is that really bad no i don't think so if this, if this trade happens yeah i mean that uh, we both use a light square bishop but i have two pawns in the center i could slowly start pushing these forward and then i'll just castle king side cool kicks me out if i take takes the queen i come here so i'm threatening the full care let's say my opponent does this take moves i could take this rook he can't take my rook because it's defended by my queen I'm going to take, yeah, I think I could do this. This do be a free pawn, but this is a fork, so he should go back. Unless, yeah, cool. So I think he just wanted to get rid of my bishop there. I could pin this guy here now. Yeah, now if I take this way, this doubles the pawns. But I think he's going to castle kingside, actually. All right, so let's be careful here. He has the bishop here. And you know what? This bishop's actually quite dangerous. <laughs> it's uncontested right now. Maybe I could go for this next next move. Attacking both this bishop and this knight. You know, if this happens, I think I'm going to go back. Then this. I think I'll go this way. Alright, so he just castles out of it. If I do this, take. Doesn't achieve anything. I'm not going to lie, I don't like my position. This bishop here is looking crazy. I should probably try to trade this off. I'm going to try to trade this bishop off. I do not like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm not going to have any bishops on the board. I understand. Maybe I could try close the position up. I do have his two central pawns. So I guess this game plan is just trying to push through the center. Although I do have a long way. I'll push it this way. So he would uh, control the dark squares. Since he has a dark square bishop. I think this wins a pawn though. Good thing I didn't castle. This take. Takes my knight. Right, maybe we will have to deal with the knight first. Sorry if I do this. That loses me a piece. <laughs> Uh, so my knight really doesn't have anywhere to go now. Other than back. I mean, is this still a thing? Take. You know what? I don't think this will benefit him at all. Even if I do lose this knight here, I will have a rook on his king side. But to be honest, it's, it's kind of well defended. Like, these pawns are not going to let me in, are they? I can't do this push. Although it does support my knight. I'm going to push this way. Worst comes to worst, I'm coming back. Maybe I should have done this earlier. I don't know. It's kind of scary just having this bishop have control. But to be honest, this pawn doesn't really take any control of the bishop. It's, it's still seeing these diagonals. These diagonals. My mouse skills are so shit. But I could do this maybe and then 
Oh my days, I'm so lucky this is defended by my knight. I'm a flipping idiot. I forgot this pawn was pinned. I need to castle ASAP. But if I castle this way, he's going to do the sacrifice. It's not really a sacrifice, but he's going to do that. I should do this pawn. I think he wants to get rid of my knight here. What if I do this? Take, and my queen gets into the center of the board, and then I get a discover check. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not a discover check, but discover the attack. But wait, no, that wins me a piece now, because take, take, and then take, no? So I could do this. My friend here can't open if I do this as well. Yep. Now I have the option of even castling queenside, which might be very silly, actually. Okay, I'm going to take. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm an absolute idiot. So I could see that the bishop would move one way, but not the other way. I'm just going to resign. What the hell? Why would I fall for that? I'm here thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to like have a good game against 1500 I'm going to learn so much and I just blundered this anyways surely there's some lessons in there you just go through it anyways apparently I don't do bad against the, the England gambit 49% win rate alright take it's all decent from here in fact I'm 1.1 up mistake really this is a mistake but I get my knight in further into the game and this takes away some control he has on the center, no? Like these squares are no longer defended. But is my bishop way more powerful then? I don't get it. This is like, I'm very confused right now. Do I have a better move? I mean, if I move back this, then this. Or if I move back, there's room to sacrifice tonight. Oh, that might be it, you know? This queen could get in like this. Oh, shit. Wait, does that win me a piece? What's the engine saying? Oh, what? Oh, why? Is this, what the fuck? Is, this, is it because this bishop is too powerful? So then he takes. Um, oops. Yeah, I take back the pawn. So okay. All right, all right, all right. So now this is a, a target. So you can't really castle this way. Damn. This indeed is a better position for me. Wow, what a mistake. Such a minuscule thing that like, you don't even think about it. Like. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll just trade this piece off and I get my knife over him. But if I just go back like this, make him push me away, makes his pawn structure weak, and then this trade has to basically happen. Actually, does it have to? What if he doesn't if, if he just doesn't take? So back, this, this, and he just doesn't take. Like what's the second best engine move? This. Then happy days he gives me the diagonal. But what if he keeps it there and keeps attention? So what about G4? Knight jump. Moves back. Alright, here I take, and the pawn's meant to take, what's amazing about this position? Alright, three isolated pawns first of all. Alright, so let's say if I was black, yeah, what would I, one, one way of knowing if my position is better than my opponent's is, I imagine if I had my opponent's position, and I would think like, what would I even do? So here, what could I even do? There's actually nothing really to do for, for why, other than taking this foul and trying to push this pawn forward. This bishop is blocked by his own pawn. Three isolated pawns that actually wait, there's two isolated pawns. Wait, no, it's one isolated pawn. These are all together. This is a pawn island. This is one isolated pawn. All right, so uh, I guess, but then he could have just taken like this to not have isolated pawns. Oh, and then you force him to have isolated pawn. <laughs> all right, cool. So I guess here the position is slightly better in my favor because I have a clear target here. And also this pawn is quite, you know, Badly placed, but I could just push it. Cool. It's quite hard to see. Anyways, I trade. That's another mistake. My pawn is undefended and loses me material. So what? But this. It's 3 a.m., guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. I pin castles. I move back. Yep, yeah, this was the right idea. Mistake. I'm losing a pawn this way. Yeah, I mean, I saw this, but I thought taking this is so bad because I have my rook staring at this piece here, which is well defended. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, honestly. And the queen gets into the center of the board as well, becomes a very active queen. Yeah, here I should have actually just went back. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I should have probably done this. It's the best move. I had a few opportunities to not mess this game up actually. 
Miss Blonda. And then I made it worse. I'm, like, what, what is wrong with me? Like, what is actually wrong with me? You know what's wrong with me? In this position, I'm like, oh yeah, there's no discovered check because there's a night here. But I didn't actually visualize properly that after he takes, I take the squares free. This is one thing that I actually mess up a lot. When I'm calculating tactics, what new squares pieces can see after a specific move? After this night jump, obviously now my opponent can see the square. So if I take, it's a discovered check. This is one of my top blunders, I've just realized. All right, take, take, anyways, game's done. Yeah, low quality of games today, my bad. Yeah, tomorrow should be better. This is like 3 a.m. right now. Hopefully I could edit and get this out within an hour. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you here tomorrow.